Today we talk about the Via Velo portable folding steel bike lock. Hello legends and super legends, welcome to Velo Harmony. In today's review, we talk about a product made by a company called Via Velo that is a portable bike lock for those of you who leave your bike unattended, especially in busy areas that may need some security when it's out of your sight. I was contacted by a rep from uh, Via Velo that asked me to review their bike locks. And so she sent several options. I selected this because it's the most portable, but they do have other locks that they produce. And I will put pictures of them here in post-production so you can see them. There will also be links to their site in the description of the video for those of you who want to check out their products. But the lock, the lock came in and I was pretty impressed with it. So let me introduce it to you. This is the box that it came in. Nothing fancy, just a cardboard box. I took it out. Let me put on my glasses here. I took out the lock and the first thing I noticed was, you know, as all cyclists, we're concerned about weight. This is about, I weighed it as a, it's 508 grams, which translates into about one pound, two ounces, something like that. So, you know, a little bit of weight. What I liked about it right out of the, 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 the box was that this is something that can fit in my pocket here. So if I were to use something like this, I'd put it in my pocket or I'd put it in my backpack or something, you know, because if you're commuting or whatever, chances are you, you're using a backpack or something like that. But the other thing that I liked about it is that it came with a mount. This is the mount. It's really simple. It, it sits in here. It comes like this. Basically, the, the lock is inserted in the mount when you take it out of the box. This is already attached and they have this kind of clipped in like that. Like this and that's kind of how. So I'm going to show you how the mount can go, go on your bike. And then we're going to go through the process of actually using the lock. But in addition to this mount, you get three keys. One of them has a red dot on it. I guess it will be your main key. But basically, you don't need to carry all three with you. They all go into the lock over here on the side, basically. Now, the cool thing about this lock that I like is that you put the key in there. When you turn the key this way, the lock is open, meaning that this arm, which locks in, is, can now come out. But the only way you can get this arm out is you have to unfold this. You can't get the arm out when it's folded like that. You have to at least drop this. Then you can take the arm out. And this is the lock. And you would put this lock around your frame and around some object that is immovable and that this cannot be slipped over like a gate or a fence or something like that. So let me put this back. And so once, once it is locked, you take out your key. Basically it's uh, one turn like this is locked to unlock it. You go one turn to lock it. You go one turn. You take out the key. Pretty much, you know, straightforward. So locked, unlock, take out the key. Once the key is out, this is how it would be attached to something. And <laughs> this is some serious steel. So the purpose of locks in general is to make your bike unattractive to opportunists. You guys know that. Uh, if it's going to take a while for somebody to get at your bike, they're going to go to an easier prey. Um, primarily, if your bike is stored someplace that is within view and you put a lock on it, nobody will mess with it. Even if it's stored someplace that's out of, out of view, this thing is so solid. Out of, you'd need some serious machining equipment to cut through this. You'd have to be carrying a serious saw to get through that. So this is a very good deterrent if you ride places often where you need to secure your bike when it's out of view. So let me go ahead and walk you through. So a bike like this I have on a stand, for example, my wife's bike. A lot of you that have hybrids. Another nice touch is they put the attachment for the clamp in there. And just in case you don't have a Phillips screwdriver, 
they included one. <laughs> so I kind of smiled when I got it. So you got everything you need to just start using your lock when you get the lock from there. So nice touch. Let me put this on the frame. So what you're doing here before I do that is this strap has a protective groove for your frame. So this comes to where you can put that in these holes here. It's already in there. I just popped it out. So they sit in like this. This will be against your frame. So it protects your frame. Unless you get grit and dirt in there, this won't harm your frame. Soft rubber. All right, legends, let's go. Let me show you why I really picked this portable lock for, I think, most of us at this level of cycling and even beginners, very, you know, new riders will prefer this one, depending on your situation. The other locks that they have with the longer cables are also just as viable. But the reason I picked this one was several reasons. For I, for one, will not use the mount because I showed you that I can put it in my pocket or you can put it in your backpack. But I want to show you how if you chose to use the mount, you can mount it on your bike. So let's come. I've got all the parts down here. That's the lock there. You see the bolt. And so I'm going to walk you through what your options are. I'm using this bike as an example. I'm not going to physically mount it on there, but I'm going to walk you through it because online they have a nice descriptive layout of how you do it. This is how it comes. You get this in a box and it's like this. So the first thing you do to get it out is you unclip down here and that comes off and then you just slide that out. Okay. That's how it comes out. Then you're left with this. Initially, the screws are not that you see I put in here are not in there. I'm going to walk you back through it. This cover that this was hooked on to has to be removed. That's what I showed earlier. You have to pull that out. I had to use a flat edge screwdriver initially because it was really pressed in there just to lift that out. You lift that out. You need this. So you, you have to keep that. That's these are the holes that these screws that came in the bag that I showed earlier. That's where they go. They go through those holes. You put them in there. When you put them through the hole, it goes completely through. Okay. See that? It goes completely through. So it is not stopping. It's just a big hole to get through to get to the other side. And that's where the stops are. So the stops are back here. See that? Okay. This lets you know what kind of tube this can accommodate. Okay, I'm going to put the, this is just a gasket here that protects your frame. Let me go ahead and put that back. There's a little hole that it goes into right there. Okay, that sits in there. That protects your frame. Nothing scratches your frame. And this is the other side of it that straps and holds your lock in place that you saw earlier. Once you get the screws in there, okay, you don't want to put this back yet until you use the screwdriver to go through here and actually attach it to the frame. That's what I needed to show you. When you're done, on the other side, these will be sticking out because this is the bracket that you will screw them through. So for example, this will be sitting like that. It will come in and you will have, say, that much extending beyond that. And then you would put these covers the little rubber covers on there to just keep that from scratching you if you brush up against it, depending on how you install it. What I really want to focus on here is the flexibility of you choosing where they go. Okay. We can see how big this is. Theoretically, you could do, you could get this to screw all the way and that will be the sizing of the tubing you put it on. Your limitation will be what is the length of this going to impact? To decide where you place that okay so you need to decide okay do i place it here on this particular frame yeah you could place it here when i'm looking over there it does not really touch the front mac so that would work you know you'd, you'd get the bracket in there on that side it would work it's a little busy of an area for you to put it in and the reason i'm considering down here is because i don't want to lose my bottle cage some people don't care if you're riding in a city you don't need two bottles necessarily you remove that cage and you can mount it this way. You could mount it that way like that and put the bracket on there. Of course, it will be closer because the bottle cage is there. I'm just showing you. And then you will put this to cover whatever when you're done. 
Okay, then once you're done mounting it, you would then cover this hole with this guy. Okay, because you need it when you mount this, when you put it in there, because that's how it holds it, to strap it in place when you're riding so it doesn't fall out if you're going to use the mount on the bike. The other thing to be aware of is how low you go on the mount position. Because a frame like this, you don't want to mount it too high in this position, then you won't be able to get this guy out. Okay? It may seem redundant, but I just wanted to mention that. If you were to mount it like this, you have more flexibility. You can go as high as you want because nothing's blocking it, if that makes sense. You could conceivably mount it here on this frame right now, like that. That is the good mounting spot in this situation because it's not in the way of anything, and you can take out your lock, put it back in when you want it, okay? That's another option. Theoretically, you could mount it sideways on here. All these large tubes are fair game. The only place you can't mount it are tubes that won't allow this spacing for the screws to go around. So this diameter, that's what you're focused on. Once you mount it, you have to make sure this is in place. It just came off. You just push that. It has two little holes. You see right there? Two little holes that these go into. Those two prongs. And then this will be against the frame, so it won't come off once it's on the frame. Okay, I wanted to show you that, but that's pretty much how you mount it. All right, legends, so regardless of uh, how you choose to carry a lock, I told you all I'm gonna carry my, if I were to carry this anywhere, I'd put it in my jersey pocket. You could put it in your backpack or whatever. It's really not that heavy, you can see. It sits in it, that's why I chose this to do the review. It's very portable and it's solid steel. It's stronger than even this fence that I'm going to attach it to. So for somebody to cut through this lock, they'll need quite a bit of time. So your bike will not be an attractive thing to steal. You get three keys. They all do the same thing. They all go in the same side on the lock. You put that in. It's, it's locked initially, of course. You turn it, quarter turn, it's unlocked. You cannot pull the lock apart until you at least drop this here. That gives you the lock to work with. You're not going to be carrying all three of these keys. Not a good idea. Just carry one, stash somewhat, one at home or wherever so you have extras. Uh, they do allow you to buy additional keys or replacement keys if you lose all three of these. Chances are kind of slim you do that. But basically, this is what you have. This is your lock, nice and portable. You want it to be around something like this where they can't lift it above this. So wherever you park your bike and you want to go through your frame, not, the wheel, not just the wheel. So you want to go around the frame, around something like this. I brace the bike up here with the pedal. And then take this. There's a, there's a push area here. You just push that into the lock. Turn your key, quarter turn, the bike is locked. Okay? Your bike is secure. Let somebody try to cut through that. I'm going to bring the camera real close so you can see the lock. They'll need a serious tool to cut through this thing. This thing, I don't know if it's carbon steel or whatever they used, but it is solid. And this thing looks like it's even stronger, those joints. So they'd probably stand a better chance of cutting through the frame than cutting through this thing. And they can't lift your bike away because where you lock it, you must have some way to where you prevent. That's why I picked this spot. So wherever you're locking it. Now, on a bike like this, I'm sure you guys already know, it has nothing to do with a lock. You got a quick release front wheel, take your wheel with you, okay? Chances are they won't go after just your rear wheel, but the biggest thing is that your bike's gonna be here when you come back. That's what matters. So I just wanted to introduce you to the Via Velo steel portable folding lock, because it's, it's an excellent choice for those of you who won't want, don't wanna have something super bulky to carry around with you. It's a little over a pound, and that's not much to pay for your security, the security of your beloved machine. So at the end of the work day or the end of your visit to the park or whatever you are doing, your bike is still here when it's time to go really easy. Take your key, put it in the lock, turn it, one turn, it's unlocked. You pull 
this out of the lock and you just slide it out and you just fold it like this like this like this this basically I'm gonna come closer to the camera here this goes in this hole this is what this is where you lock it you put it in that hole you can put that in before you fold it if you want you just put that in and then you can fold it in place like this and it goes like that once you take this out like that the lock this, you cannot pull that out okay so excellent lock very portable very functional and I think that every cyclist can benefit from something like this if you live in an area where you're leaving your bike on the tendon and you don't have anybody watching it so this is something I'm gonna get a lot of use out of to that effect let nothing stop you from getting your K's in